The Cowboys are looking to bounce back from that devastating loss they suffered against the Packers last week. They're going to try to bounce back this week and beat the Jets. In fact, I've got them beating the Jets. I say the score will be 31 to 10. This is going to be an easy game for the Cowboys to win. After losing to the Packers 34 to 24, they are looking to bounce back to beat the Jets, and they will. Expect Ezekiel Elliott to get about 30 carries. He's probably going to rush for 170 yards. Probably have about two touchdowns. And the Cowboys are going to win. They're going to steamroll the Jets. The reason why I believe this is because they're upset about what happened last week. They're upset by losing to the Packers the way they did. So they're going to bounce back. Zeke's going to have a big game. Zach's Zach will have an okay game. He'll probably throw for about 230 yards. But the Cowboys are going to go back to their bread and butter, which is the running game. They know that in order for them to win, they have to give Zeke the ball. They got to feed Zeke. So expect them to do that. He's going to get a lot of carries and a lot of yards. I don't see the Jets defense giving them much trouble at all. The Cowboys, as we know, they've got that massive offensive line. They're just going to pound the Jets. They're going to ground and pound, and then ground and pound some more. And then, you know, Dak will do his play-action pass thing, throw over the top to Cooper and Randall Cobb, and Jason Witten will get a few catches here and there. But they're going to control the clock. They're going to run the ball. And then the Cowboys' defense is really going to show up. So they're going to put a tough... A tough thumping on the Jets. I don't know who's playing at quarterback for the Jets. I don't know if it's going to be Darnold or Falk. I'm not sure who's going to start there. Probably be Sam Donald. I think he's healthy right now. We'll see what who they start at quarterback, but it doesn't matter who they start because the Cowboys are going to win this game, and they should win. In fact, this is a must-win game for the Cowboys. If they lose to the Jets, they are in jeopardy of missing the playoffs. There is no way that they should lose to this team. The Jets are obviously in rebuilding mode. So the Cowboys should be easily beat them. The same way they beat the Giants. The same way they beat Washington. And the same way they beat Miami. They've got to beat the Jets. It, and it shouldn't be that difficult. So we'll see what happens. I've got the Cowboys beating the Jets. I don't see it being a close game. We've seen what the uh, what the Cowboys can do against these low quality teams. By low quality, I mean teams that are not really that good right now. So we saw what they did against the Dolphins, Washington, and the Giants. So teams that aren't expected to win, the Cowboys usually beat those teams. For some reason, teams like the Saints and the Packers give them problems. They struggle with those teams. So they're going to have to work on that if they're looking to make a deep run into the playoffs and possibly even go to the Super Bowl. They're going to have to fix that. So like I said, I've got them beating the Jets. It's not going to be a close game. They're going to run, run, and then run some more. Expect Dak Prescott to do some play-action passing and throwing the ball deep once in a while to Cooper and to Cobb and look for Jason Witten, Jason Witten to work the intermediate routes. So he'll be catching the ball in the middle of the field. So we'll see what happens there. I've got the Cowboys winning this game. And we'll see what happens after that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I would greatly appreciate it. And plus, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.